Hey beautiful people, it's Minsko here. Now if you haven't heard about interactive components, well you definitely need to get excited about it because interactive components allows you to create interactive components which allows your clients and your team to interact with your components. Now if that doesn't excite you, then gently smash that like button and hopefully that brings a little bit more excitement to this video. So let me walk you through exactly step by step on how we can create this in minutes. So let's get right into it guys. Now, if you don't know how to utilize variants within Figma, make sure to gently smash that link above because I walk you through how to create variants in minutes. So make sure to watch that video first. Here we have a lean version of the design system that we have at Mizco Media. And as you can see, we've turned all our button variations into a variant. So let me help you illustrate and get straight to the point on how we can create interactive components. So let's say we want this variation of the small button to when we hover on this button, it will actually turn darker and same as the default and large. So all you have to do is select the variant, head over to prototype, make sure you click on this plus icon, drag it to the hover state, make sure you select the interaction as while hovering, and then you make sure it's changed to that button. You can either set to dissolve, you can make it instant. So let's go dissolve, you can ease out for 300 milliseconds. Right, so let's just do that for the three buttons that we have. Let's go while hovering. And let's do it for this one as well, while hovering. Perfect. Oh, and by the way guys, make sure to stick right through to the end because I start the video off by giving you guys a quick explanation on how to activate interactive components. But right after that, we work together step by step on creating your very first interactive component and also some variants from scratch so you know exactly step by step on how you can achieve some beautiful interactive components in minutes. So then let's head over to our assets, let's drag down a button over here, let's head over to our preview and voila. Once you hover your button, you can create these interactive components that will work and scale throughout all your designs. So without having to create multiple screens and show to showcase all these interactions, all you have to do is plan a little bit ahead create them, turn them to variants, turn them to interactive components, and you can utilize this and leverage this across all your designs. So another example, let's just take a look at input fields. So let's say with this input field, the default one, when we click inside, we want it to be on focus. So simply drag the plus icon over to here, on click, we want to dissolve, perfect. Let's do this again and again, and all we have to do is head over to here, let's grab our input field, Let's put it down on the page. Let's head over to here. Let's head over to inputs and click and voila. So it all works and it's perfect. Now what happens if we want to turn off the focus? So let's head back over to our design system. Let's click on the focus state. Let's drag this back to the default state. Make sure it's on click, perfect. Let's make sure this is done as well. And let's head over to our design system, bang. So now that we can click on it and we click on it again, it will just disappear. Click on it again, it will appear again. So interactive components is really, really simple to activate as long as you know how to utilize variants. So now that we know how to create simple interactive components, let's head back over to this video over here and I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to create a variant and also an interactive comp component from scratch. So we are gonna create a very simple to-do list item over here. And I have already created, uh, I have already created a component to house the to-do list. So I've got an auto layout with a heading inside. I've also created a very simple checklist item. So auto layout with the text and also a frame for the checkbox. Now, obviously what we wanna do is we wanna create one set of items for at the default state, which is the checklist item. Let's change this to checklist, for example, default. And what we want to do is duplicate that. We want to make this checklist selected. So this will be the selected state. And the selected state will be, let's just quickly jump in, grab that. Let's change the frame to green. And let's just remove that. So that will indicate that this has been selected, right? So very, very simple. What we want to do is we want to turn these into an component. So command option K, if you're on a Mac, whoops, these should be separate. There we go. There we go. So two separate components. Now what we want to do is make sure they're both selected, head over to variants, combine as variants, and that will turn this into a variant. 
So now if I actually head over to here and we type in checklist, I can pull through a checklist item, right? And I can actually set the different states over here. Correct? Sound good? All right, so now when, what we wanna do is we wanna head over to our design file over here and we wanna put the checklist down here. We wanna duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it, duplicate it, all good. And then what we wanna do is also grab a button that we have created previously, chuck it in here, and let's maybe just make this, let's just put it inside, let's make this default, right? Looking good, looking good, looking beautiful. Cool, so obviously we can refine the padding, but we won't do that right now because really this is about interactive components. So let's just quickly preview this mode. So let's close this and here we have it. So obviously nothing is interactive right now, but we have a very simple, oh, well actually I forgot, the button is already connected. So it's already an interactive component. So as we're actually hovering, you can see it uh, activating here. But if we click on these inputs, they're not actually activating. So let's head back to our design file. Let's click on the component, head over to prototype. Let's simply once again, drag and drop it on the component that we want it to interact with. Make sure it's on click, make sure it's dissolve. So if we click this input, it will dissolve into this one. And let's double click on this one so we can create the returning state, right? So on click, dissolve is out, perfect. So once again, here we have it. We have our very first interactive component that works very, very schmick. Let's click on this, click on this, click on this, and we can hover the button and it is an entirely interactive component. But there is one last trick that I want you guys to not forget about, which is make sure if you want this to be a perfect interactive component is to gently smash the like button, guys. And if you have any other questions about how to activate and utilize interactive components, make sure to leave those questions down in the comments below. I'm definitely answer them and I will see you in another video very soon, guys.